Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this video, we are going to check out Yasmin Coins price chart and see what is going on in terms of Elliott Waves, Classic TA, and also indicators. Now, as per usual, in every single Yasmin Coin video, I need to tell you that the long term scenario, in my opinion, in terms of Elliott Waves, is extremely bullish because if you want to say that the bottom is in and for example it's actually going to be right around this area maybe this is going to be like a very important support and you want to be 100 bullish well okay you need to be able to find off of the lowest low of any chart a one two three four five wave on the upside we can have different kinds of five waves this thing right in here is a normal one the rules for it are we shouldn't have overlapping of the waves between wave two and wave four and in any kind of impulsive structure, wave 3 in here shouldn't be the smallest wave. And for the sub waves, 5 up into wave 1, 3 and 5. And let's just draw the waves. There we go. And for wave 2 and 4, for our corrections, we can have different scenarios. Let's say, sure, in this example, ABC for 4 and a W X Y structure into wave two on your suit. Nice because we are now going to count some sub waves and see what is going on in Yasmin coin structure. So this point right in here, about let's say 0 0.0027 is the low slow. And what do we have off of it? A very clear one, two, three, four, five wave on the upside. Now, on a higher degree, I believe this is going to be into a larger degree wave one, and then we are having an A. B, C, zigzag into wave 2. And from this point, going up to somewhere around the higher sign here, I believe we are having a very, very clear 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave impulsive structure into this larger degree wave 3. And followed by that, the idea is that whatever move that we are going to have in this area in Yasmin coin, it's just going to be a correction structure into wave 4. And after that correction is over, we are going to get another big move on the upside into this way five in our time to at least at least take the higher side in this area for the first target which is going to be somewhere around let's say four and a half cents so this is why i am so bullish on yes now here is the situation in a five wave impulsive structure on the upside when wave two is a relatively deep correction wave four it's going to instead take its time and as you can see wave 2 in here it's actually a very very deep correction because in it we actually retrace all the way down here to somewhere around let's say the 90 percent of the Fibonacci retracement level for this wave one and makes me say that hey wave 4 might actually take some time so you see the overall picture in yasmin coin is absolutely 100 bullish it's just the fact that maybe this correction as structure into wave 4 is going to take quite some time. Can we have some other possibilities? Yes. And in this video, I am actually going to talk about a scenario to you that suggests this point right in here is actually our final bottom in Yasmin coin for wave 4. And from here, we are on our way up to continue our option. Now, in this scenario, I can tell you this is going to be a W, X, Y in form of potentially a double zigzag. And here is our first A. CS rusher down with all the sub waves. Let's actually delete the sub waves in here so we can see the waves a bit better. There we go. And followed by that, we are having in this area ABC of a correction for wave X and then another ABC zigzag on the outside into our wave Y, completing this WXY again in form of a double zigzag. Now, earlier in the video, we said if you want to be bullish on any chart, you need to be able to find off of the lowest low a five wave on the upside. And as you can see, off of the lowest line here, we can actually identify a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into maybe a larger D wave 1 and then correction for wave 2, maybe an ABC running flat. And if we remember the last time that we talked about Yasmin we were somewhere around these areas and I said, look, this can be a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave into this larger D wave 3 and after it, we're going to get a correction for 4 and then move up into wave 5. But in a short term, we need to see a move down in form of a correction as rusher into this wave 4 right in here in order to remain bullish in Yasmin coin and say the next move is going to be a big one on the upside at least into this wave 5. So what happened? I think now we are actually seeing some decent signs. You see? First, in this area, in my opinion, starting from 
this high and ending to somewhere around this point, there is a very, very good chance that we are going to have an A, B, C in form of a zigzag structure. And let's go around here. There we go. In an ABC zigzag, sub waves are going to be like this 5 down into A, correction, 4 wave B, maybe an ABC, maybe a WXY, and then another 5 down into R wave C. And if I just go around here, there we go. So, you see, in my opinion, this can be from here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave down into maybe a larger degree wave A, and then we are having a correction structure on the upside, possibly to somewhere around this high in form of an a b c d e a triangle structure let's actually draw the waves there we go a b c d e and from this point this can be one two three four five wave down which again on a higher degree these are going to be the sub waves for an a b c zigzag structure so what does this mean basically this scenario means maybe we are now having in this area indeed a correction structure into this wave 4 and if you want to say the end of our wave 3 is going to be rushing here fair enough this is going to be an abc into wave 4 on the other hand if you want to say the end of our wave 3 is going to be right around this high well okay this can be if i just take this one where is it there we go maybe a w x y again in form of a double zigzag structure now do we have also some other optimistic signs? Yes, you see, again, if you want to say this is going to be the bottom for our correction, okay, you can argue that this is going to be from the lowest low, one, two, three, four, five up into one correction for wave two, big move up into wave three, and maybe in this area we're going to have again just a correction for wave four, and after it, we're going to get another big move on the upside into wave five, and in the short term, this is. A requirement if you want to be bullish you need to see a move on the upside in the asmin coin and not a move down in an attempt to take this low if we get a move down in the asmin coin and take this lower in here at that point chances are that our correction into wave 4 might actually continue for quite a bit on the other hand if you see another solid move on the upside you can actually be bullish with a bit more confidence and say maybe we are going to continue this option but nonetheless this thing right in here, in my opinion, overall is actually a correction structure and not an impulsive movement. And it means at one point we are going to continue our move on the upside in Yasmin coin. Hopefully, hopefully, in an attempt to take the highest high in this area about four and a half cents. Now, in terms of classic technical analysis, meaning supports and resistances, this is another reason that suggests maybe it's best to wait a bit more because right now, as you can see, we are around this very, very important region. And in an ideal world, what I want to see is a move up in an attempt to get back above this level and then some correction instruction here and yet another move on the upside. If you see something like this, it is going to be, in my opinion, fantastic for Yasmikon. So again, this is another reason that suggests let's just wait a bit more. But overall, these structures, in my opinion, do actually look bullish. Now, let's go on some higher time frames and see what is going on in terms of indicators and then wrap up today's video let's just hide everything okay so in macd as you can see in here we are having a salt signal we suggest again like we said earlier maybe this correction is actually going to take quite some time and it's not over right now but again please please remember we said because wave 2 was a very very deep correction wave 4 again it's just going to take its time and it actually may not be that deep and we might do something like this and then after that we might get another move on the upside and in stochastic rsi let's actually bring it up where is it there we go okay so what do we have in stock rsi as you can see this is actually a bullish sign because first we are somewhere around the oversold region and second we are having a buy signal in here which in my opinion is actually a very very bullish sign in Yasmikon but this buy signal is not confirmed yet we need to actually wait a bit more until the end of the week and at that point if we are going to have this thing again it can be a very very good sign in Yasmin coins pressure so again this is going to be another very important reason to just wait a bit more in Yasmikon and in daily time frame what is going on okay this is actually not that bad because in macd we are having a buy signal and in stock rsi sure this is a sell signal and like very short time we may get a move on the downside fair enough but 
that move is not going to be a big problem as long as and that's we're not going to take this low right in here about let's say 2.2 cents if you take this low okay that's a very different story and we're going to be a bit bearish than bullish in the asm coin on the other hand if we're going to get maybe a very small move on the downside and then after another move up, that's actually going to be, in my opinion, still a very, very bullish sign. Yasmcoin. So what's the plan in here? In my opinion, these structures in Yasmcoin spread chart do actually look very, very bullish. But just to make sure that we are indeed bullish, I think we need to wait a bit more and see a move on the upside in our time to get back above this very very important level which the higher band of it is about let's say 3.1 cents so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in yasmin coin's price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets you can become a member and ask me anything you want and i hope you have a wonderful day goodbye